Hi, I'm Josh Ackman with Park Industries Customer Service Department. On this video, we're going to be talking about an intensifier incoming water pressure alarm, or other people know them as a 40 PSI alarm, depending on which machine you have. So if you are getting, when you're trying to start your intensifier and you're getting a low incoming water pressure alarm, this, we're going to go through some things that it can be. On this video, we are on a Dynamax 350. So that also may change just where the components are on your intensifier, depending on which version you have. So start out with, make sure your water is turned on going to the machine. Um, your water comes in and it goes to the booster pump here. Your booster pump then boosts this pressure up from a normal, normal city water pressures, 30 to 40 PSI. This booster pump will boost you up to 80 to 100 is what we want to see. So if you have low water pressure, make sure your booster pump is running. You can look at this slot here to see if the coupler is spinning. Another way to check is down at the bottom of the motor that, the, um, that your fan is spinning. So if that's spinning and we believe everything's working good there then, um, and you're still only getting the 40 PSI or you're getting the 40 PSI or low inlet water pressure alarm, you could have an issue with the booster pump. We do have a guide on our website of how to replace that if your booster pump did go out. Um, biggest reason for failure is that you start up the intensifier, the booster pump starts up and you do not have water pressure going to the booster pump. That can wreck a booster pump very quickly. So. Make sure you always have your water on before you start your intensifier. Coming back over here then, from the booster pump, we come, on this model, we come to the on-off valve then, making sure our on-off valve is working. So we can check this gauge is when we start up, if we're getting some pressure there, then our on-off valve is turning on. If the, it stays at zero, our valve is not opening, we need to look at our valve here. So. Here we're gonna start up our pump and see what our pressures are at. You can see right away here, our pressures are, looks like about 100 PSI or so there. The other thing I'm checking, um, our pressure is very good. We wanna see 80 to 100 PSI, ideally, we wanna see on it. Your alarms will happen around that 40 PSI mark. Um, so if you get below that, the other thing we're looking at, we can see we're at 100 here, and this one's just ever so slightly lower than our pre-filter pressure. So this is our pre-filter, this is our post-filter. If you have more than a 10 PSI difference between the pre-filter and post-filter, then we need to look at our filter, and our filter is clogged. We need to rinse that out or replace it um, if it looks real bad there. If you are still having, these pressures are where we want to see between up higher, between 80 to 100 PSI. If you are still having that 40 PSI alarm or incoming water pressure alarm, then we may have an issue with our sensor. On this model, our sensor is right below our gauge here, and we can remove that sensor, clean that, and put that back in and see if that took care of the issue. Sometimes cleaning will help you out there and you can run again then. If you um, cannot clean it and it is too dirty that it is um, still giving you the alarm and we have good pressure, your sensor will need to be replaced. As always, if you have any questions, give us a call and we'll be able to help you out. Thank you. Thanks.